is marriage for white people. Oh. Just white people? Not Arabs, not Asians, just white people. So I saw this video. By the way, it's from 2017. So let's just listen to it, shall we? Let's go. Hmm. That's the question being asked by an author of a new book. Is marriage for white people? Some new book is old because I'm old how the African-American marriage decline affects everyone. It's got a lot of people talking right now. Stanford law professor Ralph Richard Banks says, it's time for black women to, this is a quote, give up the good fight on marrying a black man. Here he is. The way I think of that is that women have been asked to carry a great load. Uh, black women shoulder a lot of the burden, in short, of black men's struggles. And I am asking women to put the burden down. Uh, many women think that they're attracted to black men. They are attracted to black men. But attraction itself is complicated. And one of the things that I discovered in the course of writing this book is that there's a whole host of fears and desires and anxieties that animate black women's attraction to black men. Okay, Banks recently wrote an article in the Wall Street Journal and said that 70% of black women aren't married. That, that's roughly true. Okay, so is it time for single, educated, and uh, working black women to just forget the notion of marrying a black man and, and look outside their race? A new Gallup poll shows more and more people are receptive to the idea of interracial marriage. In 1968, the numbers were quite low for whites approved. Let's talk about those numbers. Most black people are about that shit. Interesting. Interesting. Proving of interracial marriage. This is a Gallup poll from USA Today, but today those numbers skyrocketed for both blacks and whites. So does the author have a point? Is the black marriage nearly obsolete? Is the idea just for white people? Have a black couple here who says, uh, hello, I'm right here. Joining us more to talk about this is Lamar and Ronnie Tyler, bloggers for Black and Married with kids. All right, Tyler, so I guess my first question is, what is your reaction to what you have just heard? A lot of people have been talking about this. Um, I just think the book is dangerous and it's sending a dangerous message. Dangerous? Uh, yes. Okay. I, I, I definitely think it is just perpetuating all of the negative stereotypes that are out there. Mm -hmm. And now is the time for black people to come together and to work together, not to look outside of our community. Um, the answers. Dangerous how so? And, I'm, and I want you to answer sure. this because he seems to be putting a lot a lot of negative negativity out there on black men. Sure. Well, you know, I think what he's done is created a perfect mechanism to sell books, but not so much to help African-American women. All right. Um, and I think, you know, that's he, he's portraying this like this is a, uh, some type of help tool for them, but not at all. I think any time when you say that one entire group of people, specifically based on race, is bad and another group is good, then it doesn't make any sense at all. So if you say black men are bad based on their race, that's bad. But a lot of these spaces, they say women based on their race as a black is bad. That's okay. I just noticed something. I'm just saying. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Oh, it's not helping anybody. Instead, the conversation should be if if there are problems in the African American community, how can we uplift the community? What can we do to show them that marriage is positive, to show them that, that parenting is, is positive and where it's at? Instead of, you know, making notions like these that basically just get you on TV in the media all the time and allow you to sell books. Well, because it, some of the numbers things about money. Numbers that he put out there are are true. Um, it, it, a white woman is twice as likely to get married as a black woman. Some of what he is saying is true is what you take exception to, what you say are solutions that aren't actually solutions. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Solutions that are not actually solutions. So if it's true, let's get down to why it's true mm -hmm. and, and bring forth real solutions for the black community. Okay. Yeah, yeah you know, and I think... Um, you know, interracial dating is fine. I think who you fall in love with is who you fall in love with. But again, you know, when you say this group of people in this particular instance, which is black men, are bad and you shouldn't be with them. And I think the craziest thing about all of this is the fact that he's married to a black woman. Mm -hmm. So what if she took his own advice? They wouldn't be married now. So what you're saying is, okay, let me, let me make sure I'm clear. He's saying look outside of your race because there's a problem with your race as opposed to just be with whoever you choose to be with 
regardless of what their race is. Is is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's, it's a two part thing. It's okay. part of it is that, and part of it is this thing about the black man being so bad, just perpetu okay. perpetuating um, these continual stereotypes that we've had now for generations and generations. Again, this is from 2017. Like, it's bad to stereotype black men, but it's okay to stereotype black women. I mean, like, I'm, I'm a woman, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this kind of stuff, so bear with me. But I hear him. I hear him. And the problem becomes when you have people in communities that don't see marriage every day, that don't see those positive images of marriage portrayed, they start to believe things like this. When they see books and they see movies and they see different things, some of the marriages for white people, they start to actually get that into their conscious and then it, that passes down from generation to generation. Because there are plenty of positive images of, of black marriages out there. I mean, we've got the Obamas. I mean, exactly. there's a Will and, Will and Jada. If, if you don't remember, this is 2017. Will and Jada today is not that. It's 2017. Just, just saying. Believe all that tabloid like, messes sure. out there. Right. An interracial couple. There's Iman. And Obama is not even. He's biracial. So take that in. On and, and David Oy, there's lots of positive images out there if you choose to see them. Exactly, exactly. And that's exactly what we're doing with our website, trying to, to actually build upon those positive images, images. because um, if you don't see it, then maybe you don't think it's possible to be that. And so it's very important to have those images. Yeah, and as, it's just an example. Um, we do documentaries. In our second documentary, You Saved Me, eight couples, African-American couples from newlywed over 50 years. We premiered it in D.C. My parents have been married 50 years this year. He sold out over 540 seats in advance of the screening. They had to put up folding chairs down the aisle, I like to say, like church on Easter Sunday. And, and, and these people, we're not Spike Lee and Tanya Lewis Lee. They didn't know us by name recognition, okay. but that's how hungry in our community. Okay, so this black man who's married to a black woman made this book, Is Marriage Only for White People? He's telling black women that. Most of you are not married because black men don't want to marry you. So you should open up your options and date outside of your race. Then in the manis black manosphere, they tell black women that they don't want to marry them. We don't, we don't like you that we don't like black women because of whatever reason. And we're not going to, we're not going to marry you. Although you should be married, but we're not going to marry you. We're going to marry other people outside of your, outside of the race. So it's kind of saying that they kind of saying the same thing for different reasons. This man is saying, ladies, forget it. They don't want you. Open up your options. And the other side, these men are saying, women, black women, we don't fucking like you. Eat dirt. We rather be with other races, and you. And as a black woman, I'm hearing both sides. One is one is more sympathetic. Like, ladies, listen what they're saying. Like, don't if you want a black man. It's not. Although most black people are together, but those who aren't who are single, he's saying, black ladies, open up your options. These men don't want you. And there's the other side where these black men are saying, I don't want you, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. So they're kind of saying the same thing, but with different vibes. And black women, I think you should, we should listen because black men are saying all the same thing, whether it's sympathetic wise or being disrespectful. They're basically saying, we don't want you and you should just, you know, figure it out. And I think that's why a lot of black women are single because... We're we listening. We listen. We're hearing what you're saying, and we got it. We got it. You're not saying you want to be with us. You're saying middle finger. So it was. I find that interesting. Like, what do you guys think? You know, make some comments. I talk shit all the time, so let me know what you think. All right.